Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Who... Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius? Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army! Hang on! I want to get a photo for my scrap... Oh, hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait! Wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. Bye, I, uh, it's not just any shell, it's my magic wishing shell! Wow, that's great, Patrick! So we put the toy robots in here... Okay! Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay! Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with! But Patrick... Aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this'll work? Sure! Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning... <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Mr. Crab! Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, uh, promoted 
to Head Shiny Object Collector. Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting.
it shines. Ah, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help! But wait. I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble-blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves? Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! Don't forget to defeat. It shines. Satisfying. Push, 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 push. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking. <laughs> no more. But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out, and of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will? Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here.
Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> you do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Oh! <laughs> 